Welcome back guys. Today we will be solving a differential equation using the integrating factor method. Let's get started. Today we'll be solving this first order differential equation y prime plus 3y sine 3x equal 2e to the cos 3x. We're given the condition y of 0 equals 0. But before I find the particular solution using the condition, I have to first find the general solution. So I will be rewriting this differential equation, which is y prime plus 3y times sine 3x equal 2e raised to the cos 3x. Now, I am going to rewrite this differential equation where the 3 and sine 3x will be in front of the y. So it is a coefficient of y. The coefficient of y is used to find the integrating factor. So that is why I am rewriting it in this form. Now, the integrating factor to find that it will be e raised to all of what is in front of y. We're going to integrate this. So the integrating factor is e raised to the integral of 3 sine 3x. Now 3 is a constant, so I can factor it out. So it means I can just have the integral of sine 3x dx. So my next step is just to factor out the constant 3. So I will have 3, well, e raised to the 3 integration sine sine 3x dx. So integral of sine 3x will be minus 1 over 3 cos 3x. Now minus 1 over 3 times 3 will cancel. So 3 times minus 1 over 3, 3 into 3 goes 1 time. So I just have minus 1, which is the same as having it as minus cos 3x. When we have the integrating factor, we are going to multiply the entire differential equation by this integrating factor. So multiplying the differential equation by e to the minus cos 3x. So multiplying y prime by e to the minus cos 3x, I will have y prime e to the negative. So multiplying this, negative cos 3x. Rewrite my plus sign, then multiply 3 sine 3x y times e to the minus cos 3x. I am going to have e sine 3x. Now I'm going to put the integrating factor beside this, so it's e to the minus cos 3x. Multiply by y is equal to multiplying here by e to the minus cos 3x. So I will have 2e to the cos 3x times e to the minus cos 3x. Now I'm going to integrate both sides, but before that, I just want to show you that here we are having the product rule. So here, this is V prime. Here I have U. Then all of this will represent U prime. And then this will be V. So here I can see that V is Y because when I differentiate, I get Y prime. While here, the differential of U gives me U prime. So we differentiate the minus cos 3x to get the 3 sine 3x e to the minus cos 3x. So integrating both sides, what's going to happen here is that the integral of this 
will be u v u as a sign to be e to the minus cos 3x and v is y so the integral of this will be u and v which is e to the minus cos 3x times y and it's equal to know on this side a little bit of indices bases are the same so write the base once which is e and add in the power we will get zero because it's opposite sign so add in to get zero and e to the zero is one so one times two is two so we have the integral of two so integrating this i will get two x plus c because i'm integrating with respect to x although i've left off dx so here is a what we have so far this is called the general solution so the general solution is where we have a constant and the particular solution is when we have an initial condition and we're trying to find out what is a constant. So the general solution is above, and once I substitute x to be 0 and y to be 0, then I'll be finding my particular. So this is general solution. Let's find our particular solution. So the, for the particular solution, x is 0, that is within the bracket, that represents x, and y is over the equal sign, y is 0. So I will be substituting what is my x and what is my y into the general solution to find out c. So just substituting my x and my y to be 0, everything here is 0. It's going to make our life easier to work out what we have available. So just substituting x to be 0, wherever I see x, wherever I see y, it will be 0. Now, looking at this, I can see that this will be gone, so that's 0. 2 times 0, that's 0, plus c, so that means c is equal to 0. So the particular solution is y e to the minus cos 3x is equal to 2x. And that's it. This is our particular solution. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.